Okay, so after working one-on-one -on -one with hundreds of lash artists over the past few years, these are the biggest price mistakes that I consistently hear lash artists making that is causing them to lose so much money. So let's talk about it. Okay, so the first one, not charging for extra time. I see this a lot when clients are late, so then the artist feels like they have to make up that time that they were late for at the end of the appointment and go over the appointment time. Or when a client shows up with like two lashes for a fill and the artist thinks that they need to give them a full set in that fill time. It's very, very simple. Without getting emotions involved, your time is money. If a client is late or needs a longer appointment or wants to be fuller, just needs more time in general, be super happy to accommodate, but that will just be charged accordingly. Your time is money. Nobody in this world has a job and works for free. Literally no one. You're no different. Believe me, I wish when I paid for 60 minute massages, I always got 90 minutes actually, but that's just not how the world works. Nobody works for free. I would never expect to pay for a 60 minute massage and then them to go 90 minutes. If I wanted that 90 minutes, I would have paid for that extra time. We're literally no different. Your clients don't expect you to work after hours or work past the time that they are paying for. You're losing so much money just working for free. Okay, so the next one, pricing based on lash style. I see this all the time on Lash Artist Service Menu. They'll have a classic set, natural set, wispy set, regular volume set, mega volume set, all different prices but they're all the same amount of time. And I am not judging because this is how my menu used to look too. But when we break it down, how much it actually makes zero sense is just mind blowing. I don't know who came up with this structure. Your time isn't more or less valuable based on if you're doing a natural classic set or a mega volume full set. Majority of the time, they take the same amount of effort from you. They take around the same amount of time from you. Take the same amount of product usage from you so they should all be charged the same this is why i'm a huge believer in finding your hourly rate and adjusting your prices to that so you're always making the same every hour you're working you're making a consistent income lash artists are losing so much money with this idea and mindset there's so much psychology that goes behind it on the artist side and the customer side so if you guys want me to dig deeper into that topic, let me know. Okay, the last one, a little controversial, pricing based off other lash artists. A lot of us are taught to look around at other lash artists near us in our local community and set our prices competitively based on their prices. This is probably the biggest mistake of all and the most important. So let's take Sally down the street, for example. She's so busy. She's working 12-hour days. She has low prices, and she seems so successful at it, right? Well, a couple years down the road, she's going to get a business coach. She's finally going to do the math on how much she's actually profiting from each client or per month or per week, and she's going to find out that she's profiting $8 per client. I've seen this happen time and time again, and actually this is the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is that they're actually in the hole per client because their expenses are so high, their prices are so low, they're not profiting. And then this can go two ways. Either she can do a price jump to from $50 to $100 per service so that she actually can start profiting from her business or she'll go out of business. This happens all the time this is why you see beauty business owners going out of business so often because the lack of education around pricing and profitability and our financials in the beauty industry so say that when you graduated school and sally did seem so successful that you just copy and pasted her prices then this would end up happening to you as well because you didn't know her prices weren't set profitably weren't set right to her expenses Pricing is not a one-size-fits-all. We all have different work hours, products, cost of living expenses, overhead costs, income goals, savings, debt. Everything is so different and unique to each of us. Those are the numbers that we need to base our prices on so we can have a profitable and successful business 
for years to come. I want to know if you've made any of these pricing mistakes too because at the beginning of my career I made all of these pricing mistakes and I lost so much money and I don't want that for the new generation of lash artists so let this be your sign to get education on the pricing and financial side of your business and let me know if you need any help with that. Bye!